Welcome to our channel, Youth on the Rock. Jesus is the rock. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Hey, Pastor Pit. I really like your preaching. It's so cool. Hi, thanks. Oh, yes, Pastor Pete. We really enjoyed your preaching. <laughs> Are you two dating? You look so good together. How do you know, Pastor? I could tell by how you look at her. Go for it. There's nothing wrong about it. Did he just say, go for it? Do you think what I'm thinking, Ash? It's so weird. He's supposed to give them godly advice but to say, go for it? I doubt it if he's one of them. I'm thinking the same thing, Ashley. But how can we prove that Pastor Pete is one of them? And what if Pastor Joe or Pastor Wise does not believe us? What are we going to do? Um, good question, Jeremiah. I have an idea. What if we gather evidence to prove to your dad and Pastor Wise that they're not who they said they are? But how, Ash? You can tail him and pay attention to everything that he's doing. And Jeremiah and I will do the same thing with Michael. It sounds like a plan. Let's do it. God is calling each and every one of you to follow him. He wants you to be obedient to his calling in your life. God is waiting for you. What will be your answer? Don't be afraid. He will protect you and guide you. For God said in Matthew 4, 6, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee. Say what? What's wrong, Paul? Didn't you hear it, Jeremiah? Hear what? Did you remember what Pastor Wise taught us about the temptation of Jesus in the wilderness? Yes, I get it, Paul. Do you, guys, remember how the devil twisted the word of God? It means God never quoted it but the devil. That's right. Then how come Pastor Pete said that it was God who said it? Was he referring to the devil as his God? Exactly. My point, guys. I don't understand it. Where's Dad and Pastor Wise? Why they aren't here with us? Yes, where are they? Why they're not watching their youth? Yes. Where's Dad? How come he's not here with us? You know it's funny how come they're not here with us. They left before us. Where are they now? Why don't you call Dad and find out where they are? Yes, I will do that. Don't leave us, Paul. Rachel is right. We need you here. Quit worrying. I'll be right back shortly. Can I go with you, Paul? No, Jeremiah. Stay here with the girls. I'll be right back. Please, be careful, Paul. I will. Come on, Dad, pick up your phone. Okay, let me try again. Finally, Dad, I've been calling you. Where are you? I really don't know what's happening, son. First, we've got two flat tires and we only have one spare. We've called for help to get another spare. We waited for several hours to get help. Then after that, we went down the road thinking everything was okay but we ran out of gas. Then we have to call for help again. Seriously. Tell me about it, son. As if something is trying to stop us from going to the youth camp. What about Pastor Joe and his kids? Where are they? What? I thought they were there. He called us before we parted our ways. Son, tell me everything what's really going on there. Dad, I don't know if you're going to believe me. 
but something spooky is going on in the youth camp right now. I believe you, son. Try me. For a start, do you remember Michael and Sean? Yes. And now with Pastor Pete. Let me give you a heads up. You see, Dad, ever since we came here, Huh. Thanks for the updates, son. Don't worry. I will share everything with Pastor Wise and Pastor Joe. We will be interceding for you, guys. Bye, son. Be careful. You too, Dad. Oh. Paul's back. Did you get a hold of your dad? What did Dad said, Paul? You wouldn't believe me if I tell you what has happened to them. What about Pastor Joe and his kids? Are they without Dad? That's the thing. I mean, Dad and Pastor Wise don't know where they are. Do you mean... We're here on our own? What? Is that true, Paul? I'm afraid, yes. We're on our own. What are we going to do? We cannot fight Michael and Pastor Pete. They are too strong for us. No, Jeremiah, you're wrong. Don't you realize what you're saying? First, we're not the one fighting them. Our God, our mighty God will fight for us. That's right, Paul. The Lord our God is with us. Yes, amen and amen. Remember, the Bible says, if God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? Remember, what mom and dad taught us. Romans 8.31 If God is for us, who can be against us? That's right, Paul. Romans 8.31 says, If God is for us, who can be against us? Another one that our dad used to teach us when we were young. Isaiah 54.17 No weapon that is formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against us in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. Amen. Be with us, Lord. Let's go, guys. We have to go back and continue to keep an eye on Pastor Pete and Michael. Hurry. At 12 midnight. I want all of you guys to come back here for our ritual and I will dedicate you to my God. Yes, Pastor Pete. Yes. Did you hear what Pastor Pete said? He's going to sacrifice those young people to his God, the devil. I hate that creep. I wanna crush him. Let's find out what they're planning tonight. Let's go guys, and follow me. What is this place, Paul? It's dark and it's so creepy. I'm not sure, Ashley. But we can stay here for a while to make plans and to ask the father for his guidance. Where's Rachel and Jeremiah? Huh? I thought they were behind me. Where are they? Jeremiah, where's Paul and Ashley? Where did they go? Huh? I thought I saw them run this way. Are you sure they went this way? Hurry, Rachel. Let's find them. This way. Whoa, I'm sorry, I'm Lucy. It's okay. Are you alright? No, my cousin Brett and I were scared. Scared of what? We're scared of Pastor Pete. He is not who he said he was. What? My cousin Brett and I are planning to escape. 
We don't want to be here. Rachel, there you are. Lucy, I have been looking for you. Rachel, what about them? We can't leave them here. Oh, well. They can go with us for now. Let's go, Brett and Lucy. Let's hurry. <laughs>